Iceland. A country that offers some of the most beautiful landscapes on the planet. 60 million years ago, two tectonic plates shifted, creating a home to over 130 volcanoes, the largest waterfalls in Europe, rough seas, deep glaciers, and erupting geysers, making the island we know today. In this episode, we will explore how Icelandic natural wonders inspire a nation's culture. As well as being home to two-thirds of the country's population, Reykjavik is also home to unique architecture inspired by Iceland's nature and history. Included in this unique architecture is Kopavirga's town church, Kopavirga Skirka, several miles away from the city centre. Downtown Reykjavik is home to arguably the most famous cathedral on the island, Hafgrimskirka, one of the island's top tourist destinations. When climbed to the top, the capital can be seen for miles. Hafgrimskirka was designed to resemble the ballast lava flows of Iceland's landscape. Standing proud outside Hafgrimskirka is a monument in honour of the famous Icelandic Viking explorer Leif Eriksson. Viking explorers such as Leif the Lucky would have travelled in a ship resembling that of the Sun Voyager. The Sun Voyager pays tribute to a dream of hope, progress and freedom, and is also an ode to the sun. The statue was erected in 1990, showing that tradition and history are still very much a part of Icelandic culture today. Vikjubraut, the black sand beach on the coast of Vik, is world famous for its peculiar black sand. This is in fact volcanic ash. Vik is a small town lying beneath one of the island's most deadly volcanoes, Katla. Icelandic legend has it that the rock formations at the base of the beach are the remains of two night trolls who were petrified as they were trying to pull a ship out of the sea. At the site of the beach is the Voyage Monument. This is a symbol of friendship between the Icelandic coastal fishing village of Vik and the Yorkshire city of Hull. Hull and Iceland are connected by more than 1,000 years of trade, with both statues facing the direction of one another. Skogafoss one of Iceland's many stunning waterfalls. According to legend, the first Viking settler, Prazi Porovsen, buried treasure in the cave behind the waterfall. In Iceland, as well as most other European countries, tradition states that men should propose to women. However, according to Icelandic folklore, if a woman should find herself behind Seljalandsfoss with a man, she is entitled to propose to him. Gullfoss. It is the second biggest glacier in Iceland and the largest waterfall in Europe. The waterfall is an untouched natural beauty with a great source of water that plummets 32 meters into a rugged canyon. It flows down in the form of a wide curved three-step staircase and is surrounded by 73 meter high walls. The water is geothermically heated from the warmth of the Earth's crust, creating natural geysers which send boiling water up to 100 meters high every eight to 12 minutes. Due to the natural springs from surrounding mountains, Icelandic water does not require filtering or heating. In Icelandic culture, 
it is the norm to go swimming outside. Possibly the most famous example of a heated outdoor pool is the Blue Lagoon in Grindavik. Traditions of bathing outdoors dates back to the Viking era. Many Icelanders believe that the minerals within the natural pools hold certain health benefits. Others use the time to relax and unwind. The beliefs of Icelandic people continue to live on centuries later, with all aspects of daily life being affected by the island's unique environment. A land of fire and ice. <laughs>